Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you guys beginning to end one of our flip. I'm gonna show you guys kind of the work that goes into it. You guys are gonna get a pretty good idea. Make sure to watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you guys how much we ended up profiting on this flip. Make sure to follow our socials for behind the scenes action and uncut footage. We are going on a journey. We're gonna go on the GoPro driving to San Diego to go pick up a bumper and pick up a fender. We can't get the parts here locally. Let's go see where the adventure takes us. Join me for the ride. In the middle of nowhere, we got like 300 miles to go. I guess next stop is gonna be in San Diego. The baby is still nice and clean. She's looking great. I don't know if I ever gave you guys a little walk around of the car. Let's get going. We are in California running into continuous car wreck. sure exactly what's going on. I don't think they're here for me. Waiting for our bumper. I'm curious to see the condition. This is what you got to do when you're working on a budget. That's Ma Mohammed? Ma Mohammed? Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. I'm here with Sam at Turbo Dismantlers. Uh, turbo team sorry yeah. turbo team and uh we are here at the yard taking a look around at all the parts this is the graveyard of vehicles be a g37 and it's not too much anymore <laughs> <laughs> Where's the GTRs? Yeah, that's SD. <laughs> he's, he's like, we got the Fiesta. <laughs> right? I'm like six foot four. Six foot four making it through the spot. Ah, oh, this weather is great. Jesus. There's all kinds of all kinds of obstacles in here. The weather is finally beautiful, guys. I'm really happy. Police car. Scap car. It's, uh, I got one of those. Where is it? 2017 uh, Charger. Only this. Everything sold. Only Where? The, black, the black panel. The black one? Yeah. That thing? Yeah. That's what's left of the cop 2000, car? 2017 Charger. It's, uh, police car. There's what's left of the police car, guys. <laughs> That's all that's left of the police car. We just met Sam, the owner. We got our bumper cover. We found a fog light. Take a look at these wheels that we found uh, that the guy's gonna sell me, give me a really good deal. And we're gonna do this probably tomorrow because I don't think we have enough time to do it today. 20 minutes from the beach. Have me a protein bar. And gas is only 279. made it to the beach, finally. After six hours of driving, it's been 10 years since I've been here. It'll be interesting to see what has changed. Oh yeah. This is the first beach in 10 years, babe. 10 years. Sweet. Got a nice ass day out here. Nice ass day. So our next stop is we're headed to Long Beach. We got to pick up the fender and the rims, and we're probably going to stay like two or three days. It's going to be a lot of fun. I like that car. That one's cool. Y'all can see it. Do a little M3 right there. Six and a half hours late. We got something going on up here, guys. Wow. 
We are at our second location and we're gonna pick up the fender for the Lexus and we're gonna pick up some wheels. Let me show you guys. This will be our next clip right here. Voila. These shift performance. We gotta do some work. Tires are good though. We're gonna pick these up and we're gonna squeeze everything in the Audi. We went and got our rims. We got our latest flip. We're not gonna get killed by the city bus here. We got our fender and our bumper cover. So, mission is a success. A few moments later. Y'all wanna see how we do it. The Audi is completely stuffed with rims, tires, and bumpers. We have the, we're gonna have to clean the interior, but it fit. Welcome back guys and girls in LA. We picked up a set of wheels. We're getting ready to, to roll back. We got our next flip here. The wheels before we clean them up, Shift Performance, which is the Strata racing brand. And we're missing one center cop and we have one little itty issue right here besides a little bit of curb rash. And the tires are great too. There we go. Did I get it? Did I get it? I did get it. Getting ready to prep the fender and the bumper cover that we got from LA. After our LA trip, I was extremely happy. We got our fender very cheaply, by the way. Um, have to repaint that. Not a lot of work, actually. And then we have our bumper cover. A little bit more work. There was a big gouge there. We had to fix it by heating it up. Um, also had to skip through the parts where I primered this, got rid of all the rock chips, then finally laid the base coat and the clear. I'll show you guys the end result at the end of the video. Keep watching. But yeah, that's pretty much the work that we had to do besides a little bit of other body work. Sadly, I could not find the footage for painting the bumper or the fender, but I do have this antique footage here of originally painting the side skirt for the Lexus. This is when I laid the base coat. Um, with this one, it was a two stage where you put the pearl down uh, after you spray the base coat and then you spray the clear on top of it. It's kind of like the poor man's way of doing the pearl. The pearl is very expensive, but the end result came out amazing. I was extremely happy with it. It was my first time doing it. When the tow truck guy decided to drop the car off, he was not very happy and he left before we could even basically move the car at all. We couldn't even close the gate, which was really crazy. Um, the car was very, very damaged on the driver's side. You guys can see the damage. Um, it was pretty extensive and uh, We're gonna start yeah, working we couldn't on even it. move so we the figured car. Out so I actually figured out a very sketchy way to move the car by putting the jack under the front and letting it drive on its own wheels. Or it seems to be working. Now this car looked a lot worse than it actually was um, the body lines were straight. There were no fluids leaking. The hood was completely fine. Um, what we had was the bumper cover, the fender that needed to be replaced, and the whole passenger side suspension had to be replaced as well. Um, maybe a couple control arms, but besides that, it was not that bad as far as it looked. It got super lucky and it didn't bend the frame or All the rims definitely were shot, uh, including the tires. Um, one of the major things was the lower control arm was completely bent and 
I just don't know how she didn't bend the frame, but either way, um, we removed all the front suspension. We found that the frame was completely straight. Uh, most of the wiring was still intact to the headlight and uh, it was a bit of work. I ended up finding the control arm uh, assembly with a new hub at uh, LKQ and put it all in for the video. One of the major things that I didn't get on camera, but it actually happened, was one of the wheel lugs was snapped in half on the end of the hub, and I couldn't get the wheels off to be able to put new ones on. And uh, it was a bit of work, and it took actually a, a day or two to figure out how to get it off, but finally got it done, and uh, the end result was able to put, after being relieved that the driver's side was completely fine for the suspension didn't have to do anything to it um, just installed the right hand side uh, the passenger side uh, suspension got it all torqued in bolted everything after that we fitted the wheels on the car for the first time and uh, got ready to take it for its first test drive it hadn't been driven in six months Now, if you guys have stayed with me the entire video, it is time to get to the fun stuff. How much did we make on this build? If you add in the cost for the front bumper, the fender, control arm, fog light, paint supplies, new rims, and our gas for our Cali trip, our total out-of-pocket expenses was $945. The original quote was $8,000 to fix this car. We fixed this for $4,400, leaving us a net profit of $3,455. Here is a quick side-by-side -side of both cars. You can see all the work that is done. The paintwork came out beautiful. Everybody's happy. And if you're wondering what happened to those rims that we picked up, we bought those for original $320. We sold them two days later for $800, leaving us a profit of $480 leaving our grand total for the week. Drum roll, please. $3,935 for a little over one week's worth of work. This was a great, successful flip, and I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and shoot me a comment and a like if you like this video. Have yourself a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you for watching.